This video is designed to show you how to set up and to use the spectrophotometer. A spectrophotometer is an analytical instrument used to measure the intensity of a light beam at a fixed wavelength as it passes through a solution. In simple terms, the result can be displayed in two ways. Firstly, as transmission. The amount of incident light that passes through the solution or more commonly as absorbance the amount of light that is absorbed by the solution. It should be obvious that more light will be absorbed by a more concentrated solution. Therefore this is a simple yet powerful technique to determine the concentration of a solution from its absorbance. Start by turning on the machine using the switch at the back. Here we have two different samples of copper sulphate. This one is prepared to a concentration of 50 millimolar and this one to a concentration of 25 millimolar. You can see that the less concentrated solution appears paler. We will use a spectrophotometer to measure their respective absorbance. This is the cuvette used in the spectrophotometer. It is one centimeter wide and one centimeter deep. This gives a path length of one centimetre. Notice that two sides of the cuvette are not transparent. This is important when positioning the cuvette in the spectrophotometer. Since if the etched side was in the line of the light beam, this would affect the result. Around three millilitres of the solution is added to the cuvette. We now need to set up the spectrophotometer. It will take a few minutes for the machine to calibrate itself ready for use. Ensure that the lid is closed and while you wait, set up the samples. Now we need to decide which wavelength of light to use. You should recall that things appear different colours as they absorb different wavelengths of light in the visible spectrum. When working with solutions, you can start by testing a range of different wavelengths in order to determine the most suitable wavelength for that particular solution. Here we are working with copper sulphate, which has an optimum wavelength of 810 nanometers. If menu is displayed, press escape until the measurement screen is displayed. Ensure that the mode is set to absorbance. If not, Press change mode and you should then see absorbance displayed. So to set the wavelength press set nanometers and enter the value 810 and then press enter. It may take a few seconds for the machine to recalibrate. Open the flap on the front of the spectrophotometer and you can see that there is a metal carriage with space for a cuvette. Before taking a measurement of a sample solution, you should always take a blank measurement using a solution of zero concentration. Our copper sulphate solutions were prepared in deionized water. So this cuvette containing only deionized water is the most suitable blank to use. Place the cuvette containing the water into the carriage and ensure that the clear side faces the slit in the side where the light beam will emerge. The display will now show you the absorbance of the pure water and any interfering absorbance from the cuvette itself. In practice this is a very low value. We want the spectrophotometer to deduct this value from our samples so we will be able to only read the absorbance of the copper sulphate, so press measure blank. The display should now read zero. Don't worry if the number starts to fluctuate a little, this will not give any significant effect on your result. Now open the lid and remove the cuvette. Insert the cuvette containing the solution to be measured. In this case, 25 millimolar copper sulphate solution. Here you can see that the absorbance of this solution is displayed as 0 
Now you can continue to read the absorbance of the other cuvettes, in this case the 50 millimolar solution. Here you can see that the absorbance of this solution is displayed as 0 0.932. Also notice that as the concentration doubles, the absorbance is also approximately doubled. This linear increase in absorbance proportional to concentration is the basis of the Beer-Lambert law. Therefore, if you were to have a range of absorbance values for different known concentrations, you could plot a graph of absorbance against concentration and use this to determine the concentration of an unknown solution by measuring its absorbance. For more information on calibration graphs, see the lab schedule and other videos in this series. Once you have finished, you should remove all cuvettes from the spectrophotometer and rinse them out with deionized water. Make sure you turn the machine off and replace the dust cover when you are finished. To test your understanding, please complete the short quiz on the KLE.